hi everyone welcome to the video part number five of oracle real application cluster 19c lab setup we let's look at what we have done so far in our plan to achieve this lab setup we can see here that we have done right now the first four points or main task we we have done so right now we need to install or prepare our operating system which is oracle linux 8.5 with those prerequisites to be fulfilled for so we can able to install the oracle grid infrastructure and oracle uh, cluster database so let's move right now to the operating system virtual operating system and try to install and prepare those prerequisites there as you can see here i have the operating system right now here oracle linux 8.5 and I, I have also here the document that i will to use to apply those prerequisites you can find this document on my github I will push this uh, document there so you can find it and uh, follow as what I'm doing here uh, using this document. So let's do the first thing. Uh, we need to check the um, the connectivity to the internet. Uh, first, I will bring uh, Google. I can see that I can reach. Um, um, yeah, I can reach uh, internet. Now I will use it. You, I will try to make cache. I will cache the metadata from uh, Oracle Rebo. I can see here that I have the updated cache. Let me just search also for this uh, pre-install um, package from Oracle Rebo. Yeah, I can see here that this package is already there. So I will install it using DNF install. Let me just clear the screen and do like this. Yep. I will install it right now. So the the installation is completed. So right now we have the pre uh, the pre install 19c is installed. Everything is fine. Let's move right now. You can do like um, a DNF check update and apply this update. Uh, but for me right now I will not do it. But if in case if you want to update and apply uh, the latest uh, batch and security everything up to date, you can apply this one. But for me I will not right now. So we need to add more groups. Let me just uh, first uh, clear the screen and let us just copy and uh, apply those groups as well. So right now those groups are added. Now I will assign this group to Oracle. Okay. Because if I do ID Oracle. And I will uh, grab ASM. So you can see here it's not uh, added. But if I add like this. And then do it like this. I can see this ASM group is added. And I have it so let me just clear the screen right now let me move to the to create a grid user so we need this user and i will add also those uh, groups for it uh, let me just uh, do like this yep of course you need root user to or sudo user to be able to add uh, those so let's check if the grid user is um, added yeah we can see and also the required uh, groups also attached to this uh, user we have right now we need to set the password i will use the stdn which is the simple way you can put password oracle and set the password that you need um, based on you but for me here because i am doing a test environment so i will use this one so it's uh, successfully taken so let's clear the screen now i will create the directories that we need it you remember that we create this in previous video we create u01 so right now it's uh, it's okay so i will co copy all of those uh, lines and apply them here in one shot let's confirm i can see here that slash u01 it's oracle or install let's check the um, inside sorry u01 uh, let me just clear the screen ls minus la we can see here that the uh, everything also inside is taken 19c let's ls minus l l a sorry l l a we can see here that the grid home is uh, controlled by the grid user so that's uh, and the oracle for oracle uh, user everything is fine so let's clear the screen now we need to check the 
uh, NTP service. Uh, here we need to add uh, some, um, yeah, some uh, uh, servers or sources for the uh, crony. If you, if your company have uh, a one, I search on the internet. I will add them from the internet. Uh, check uh, which uh, is close to you and. Uh, fit for uh, you from the internet i will use this one and i will exit like this and then we need to restart the crony d service like this yep now everything is fine let's check the sources if it's taken we can see here that those sources is taken yep everything is fine now we will move to the uh, secure linux it's called se linux this one uh, it will be enabled so we need to disable it or make it uh, like uh, permissive i will f i will make it permissive here i have a sid command which is will do it for me immediately but before i do let me just get this file for you at least you have clear idea what i'm planning to do you can see here it's enforced enforcing so i change it to permissive which is print warning instead of enforcing so that means it will not stop everything but it will uh, like alert me if there is any issue or any warning it will warn me yeah so let me just uh, do like this i i right now let's get it again it should have like here permissive so that's fine right now you can also disable it i have here also the command so you can disable it or uh, uh, just uh, allow it to give you a, like a, a warning also this one so you can um, force it so no need to re reboot in case if you want yeah so now we will move to the limits for which is for the it's uh, this uh, pre-install um, uh, package it will create for oracle but it will not create for um, a grid user so i will copy the oracle here this one i will uh, like copy the oracle database pre-install and create also for grid database pre-install 19c because i want to separate the grid infrastructure user and oracle user so i will hit like this then i will edit it okay i will change the everything inside from oracle you can see here i have oracle oracle so what i will do i put escape colon and then percent which is shift 5 and then s which that's mean a string and then i will uh, change it from oracle to um grid like this and then i will put g which is global and everything you can see here it's everything changed from grid from oracle to grid let's save and exit with colon escape colon x and then hit enter let's confirm let me just confirm everything is fine let's do cat we can see here that it's right now set to the grid so right now we have those uh, limits uh, set to oracle user and grid user nice now let's move to the firewall you can put uh, add the port and all the port related to the uh, grid infrastructure uh, and uh, database uh, listener but for me here i will stop the listener uh, sorry i will stop the firewall and also i will disable it because this one is a test environment yep that's it now we will uh, create the environment variables so we will move right now to the grid first we will create sudo minus grid like this then we will copy this make a backup from the bash profile like this then we will copy and paste this command you can see here that the host name minus s it will bring for me the host name and then it will check if it's rack one or rack two based on this it will set the aura underscore sid for this so it's uh, you can read it uh, carefully before you apply it and uh, you you can copy, copy till here and then i will paste here yep like this and i will hit enter you can see here that's this is uh, this the file is created yeah this one grid env so then we will move and try to uh, echo like this here so this will be added to the 
uh, bash profile so if we source like this uh, dot bash underscore profile so we can see here that's and then we will do inv grip oracle like this we can see here that's all the environment set correctly and everything is fine nice so now if you are using uh, root you can change the permission of this file but for me i'm using grid so no need now i source and did this one so that's uh, to check if you are if you have everything is uh, set and fine so we can see that we are able to source so it's okay now we will move to oracle let me just exit from grid i will access right now oracle and i will clear the screen so I will right now do the same as I did for grid user. So I will copy this one. I will back up this bash profile. Then I will copy this one again till the end of file here. EOF. Then I will paste it here and hit enter. I will clear. Let me just check if I have this one yeah you can see it is here created here now i will move to create this one why i'm doing like this because if you have uh, multiple database let's say 19c or uh, let's say 12c uh, like this or 21c so you have a multiple profile so you can have many as much as you can using this one so i did like this and of course if you have um like if you do this from the root you need to change the owner and uh, the group so now let's source this file and now i will also just check this one also i will copy it and see if the yeah we can see here that the environment variables is seated and everything is fine and the unique name is broad sid is broad one and everything is fine and the host name also and everything is uh, exactly what we want so we can see here that everything is fine right now we need right now to disable some services and stop all of them i will copy just but before we need to exit from and we need to be a root user so i will copy uh, to i want to stop all those services we don't want them especially yeah and I will disable. Again, you can find those uh, comments from my GitHub. Now, let me just uh, check system CTL uh, status. Uh, so good. It's inactive. Nice. Let me just uh, stop and disable. I think we need to disable it. And disable. I will make sure that's this. Yep. So everything is fine. It's right now not working anymore. So that's it. Uh, I have done uh, everything for the prerequisites so see you in the next video thank you for watching have a good day bye